بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ود دا اوریجن اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ آف ناول دس لیکچر اینڈ دا سیریز آف ادر لیکچرس ول ہیلپ آل آف دا ایم اے پریویس اینڈ فائنل اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو اپیئر ان ڈگری ایگزامنیشنس اینڈ کمپٹیشن ایگزامنیشنس ایز ویل بیکاز Uh, these lectures have been commenced with the purpose to help those students who find masters in English literature difficult. At first I want to tell you that masters in English are not quite difficult, just it is, what is required is to do a planned study under the supervision of a seasoned professor. So let's start. Uh, with the birth of novel at first I'll uh, introduce myself my name is Fakhruddin I'm fellow in English and linguistics and um, teaching in a government college birth of novel how uh, this genre took birth is the question that we have to explore from the start of the medieval age Medieval age roughly starts from the 5th century and ends at the 15th century. This age, though particularly not uh, specified for the birth of novel, but we see that in the legends, in the ballads, ballads of King Arthur during that period, we find that the stories uh, make somewhat a birth into a novel. As we see in the following uh, lines, we see that yet it emerged as a new genre in 18th century AD. Uh, so its complete birth we see, we find, uh, have, we find in 18th century. Stories produced by Lily and Sidney in Elizabethan age could not still be called a full-fledged novel. Then came the Elizabethan age. Queen Elizabeth actually started its rule, started its queenship in 1558 to 1603. So this age, this era is called the Queen Elizabethan age. So in Queen Elizabethan age, Lily and Sidney, uh, though tried to write upon this genre, but still this could not be called a novel. For example, uh, Lily wrote Euphues and Sidney wrote Arcadia. These were uh, not at all uh, these were can, these cannot be called full fledged novel because there were too much moralizing in these uh, stories then came uh, the 17th century but towards the end of the 16th century we find the picaresque novel this novel have has its origin in Spain. Though still it cannot be called novel for our convenience, yet we use it as a novel here. The hero of such uh, novels were in uh, the in not the hero. They were actually the wandering rogues. Picaro means Picaro in Spain, Spanish language means wandering rock, a rascal. So the hero in such novels were the rascals and the wandering rocks. As the word Picaro suggests right here, Cervantes, Cervantes is the writer, Don Quixote, he wrote Don Quixote, is the best known of Picaro's no tales in Spanish. Actually these were the tales in Spanish, not in English. Now we move to the next uh, line such stories remain popular till the days of Fielding and Smollett. So we find that Fielding and Smollett have some uh, sort of ground on the field of the novel. 
then came the 17th century uh, we say that the 17th century marks the beginning of the shape of the novel somewhat novel we can say it and it towards the beginning of the 18th century as well banyan's banyan john banyan is the writer he wrote the pilgrim's progress and he wrote this novel in 17th century though we cannot still call it a, a full fledged novel a complete novel yet it took somewhat a little shape of novel as it had a smoothly working plot because the characteristics we find of the novel modern novel uh, can also be found in it uh, for example a working plot a variety of characters impressive descriptive passages and simple dramatic dialogue 17th century ended with daniel defoe's novel robinson crusoe robinson crusoe was a celebrated novelist can be called can be called a celebrated novelist because his robinson crusoe has been translated into uh, many languages and many uh, many times and it holds a great respect uh, in the world we now move to the 18th century there were four main novelists and these four main novelists can be called the wheels of the uh, nov- van v a n van if we call it in a modern language but if we say four wheels of the van then it is also true van means any four vehicle four four uh, four wheeled vehicle Professor Sainsbury designates the following four novelists as the four wheels of the vein of the novel. These four wheels are number one Samuel Richardson. His date of birth is 1689 to 1761. Creator of the novel of sentiment. He is the novel. He wrote the novel of sentiment, and he can be called the creator of the novel of sentiment. Sentiment means emotions, passions. So. his novels carry the tinge or color of sentiments emotions richardson discussed national and middle class what is the trait of the richardson's novels was that he discussed he took into his novels the national and middle class and discussed them for example pamela uh, it can also be called virtue rewarded is an example of a novel of sentiment then we move to the uh bright star bright star henry fielding henry fielding have been has been called as the father of english novel because he broke all the norms that had already been uh, tread upon for example contrary to the tendency of richardson who was a preacher fielding was a satirist so unlike uh, richardson he was a satirist he satired upon the uh, current trends of that time his well known novel is the history of tom jones a foundling he created a novel of realism and perfected the satiric novel of manners remember that he is the perfectionist he perfected the satiric novel of manners next came tobias george smollett he was a great observer who wrote roderick random peregrine pickle these two productions were was of great importance were of great importance lawrence stern his tristram shandy is a sentimental novel that reaches the extreme limits of its principle that's all hope you would have learned a lot from this lecture allah peace